What's up, everybody? Kind of got a little rant, I guess. I'm sitting at home bored. I'm stuck in quarantine. I'm on day six of ten for COVID. I figured, why not? I got something on my mind. I'll make a video. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Facebook groups suck. What do you mean they suck? They suck. Um, they suck for a multitude of reasons. That's saying a lot because... This is, I started this group, Knife Peasants. So, why would I say that Facebook groups suck? Because people suck. Well, not all people. It's like a smaller minority of people suck, but the amount of suck that they give off overwhelms the majority of people that don't suck. Um, people by nature just suck. They they're rude, they don't care about others, and coming from me, that's kind of hypocritical because I love giving a good raising to every now and again, if you know what I mean, and I, I am pretty guilty myself of most of the things I'm going to talk about in this video, but for the most part, yeah, people suck and, well, they ruin it for others, um, Somebody, somebody new in the hobby, say, they get a knife, this is nothing special, I wouldn't be proud of it, but they get, you know, something like an Ozark Trail knife, or better yet, when this thing first came out, and Walmart was selling them for like three bucks, I think, it's dirty, it stays here in my shop, but, yeah, I mean, I've seen worse $4 knives. It comes sharp and it actually flips open. I mean, so. Yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll do what somebody needs to do. Are most knife people specifically going to carry something like that? No, but these people are learning. Not everybody's going to be carrying a Hinder or a Spydeco or even like what uh, I'm carrying today, the Hogue Deca. These are all knife people knives. And nobody's going to get to that point if they feel like they're going to get hazed for carrying something cheap. So, or fanboys. And kind of the reason I pulled out the Spyderco and the Hinderer. Uh, Spyderco fanboys are pretty bad. Spyderco groups are pretty toxic. When I say pretty toxic, they're really toxic. I mean, watch and see if you miss a drop or somebody misses a drop. See how many people come to complain to the groups about how bad it is. Oh, spider coat is so bad. Oh, such and such dealer is so bad. Oh, their server, oh, they should know. Oh. Yeah, I mean, okay, cool. Be unhappy. I get it. You took five, ten minutes out of your day to try to score something cool cool like uh this i got lucky with this this dropped and i missed the initial drop but a couple hours later i checked back and there were still a couple in stock I guess from people who canceled their orders so i was able to snatch one up at the last minute before they were all gone cool. great knife by the way i mean great variation the only pm2 i still have and probably the only one i'll keep but uh Good God, and I don't care about secondary. So you can charge whatever you want. I'm only gonna I'm gonna pay what I'm willing to pay, and if I can't find it for that, cool. There's thousands of other knives, but you ain't gotta just bitch about not having the specific color or the specific steel. If it's so bad, there are dozens of aftermarket scale makers who will make the exact scale that you want and the color that you want even the texture that you want so it's not an issue to complain about color or i don't know it's just ridiculous people will complain over nothing uh, a reputable dealer that's been bought from thousands and thousands of times somebody just say they're trash all of a sudden because 
ooh, their servers crashed and I wasn't able to get a knife or ooh, they know there was so much traffic coming. I should have beat up the server because I want my knife. I know I sound stupid, but hold on a sec. Getting dry mouth from this. Um I don't, then Hender fanboys, the, I ain't gonna get specifically call out certain groups. Yeah, well, we're gonna call out some groups here in a little bit, but not a huge fan of this group, I'll just say that. Could tur really t turn somebody off to the brand, I'll say that. Um, I'm still a member, I haven't had any personal run-ins, but I've seen a lot, and the group sucks. It's pretty bad, actually. But really sucks. Let's see. I, I won't call out specifically by name, but I'll abbreviate. Two groups I'll specifically call out. One of them is KG. The other one is EDB. KG isn't so much a problem anymore. That was more of an issue when I first joined Facebook. And, uh... That group was toxic. It was snob central. And I don't know. It's not really a thing anymore. The admin were pretty garbage there. Uh now it's not really an issue. Nobody cares. They it's just another knife group now. But EDB, let me mm. That is the worst of the worst of the knife community. It's concentrated that group. Clones are there at the the biggest problem with any Facebook group is the admin and I know I've had problems of my own in my own group and for a long time my group was a hot dumpster fire oh I'll admit that it was a hot dumpster fire because all we did was stir shit up or start shit in other groups that's cool and I'll admit that and we're not doing that anymore so we've moved on but oh my god the admin guess this example you get free free stuff to review for you the groups youtube channel and then just sell it and it's solely the money solely benefits one person cool you could at least acknowledge what's going on or it's the biggest thing is thinking admin have actual power. It's, it's Facebook. They, you have no power. At least follow your own rules. I mean, you know, I don't know. This whole video just sounds like whining and ranting and raving, but I'm bored. I felt like talking, so I'm going to talk. But, uh, I don't know thing is bad admin kind of ruin groups for people there could be a whole bunch of people that get along but admin will come along turn comments off or boot people for agreeing with things that the admin don't like or criticizing the admin or anything get you da boot and that's not cool it's just it makes you look like a douchebag when you go around acting like you have real power and it, don't take this seriously it's facebook man it's a group you're doing you made the group you joined the group they asked you to moderate the group whatever it's for fun it's not it doesn't matter it's facebook at the end of the day it's none of this is going to matter so why are you treating it like such a huge deal that somebody doesn't agree with you or that they 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 hate the brand of knife that you hate why are you gonna kick them out of a group if we all had the same opinions it'd be pretty fucking boring at least that's my opinion but no this this edb group is the main example of that it's pretty rough 
Uh, I have a couple alter ego Facebooks. I hang around in there. I keep my eye on it because it's fun. It, there, there's a lot of dumpster fires in there. And there's a lot of dumpster fires in other groups. There's dumpster fires in my groups. But we work hard to try to make sure everybody's included and nobody is treated like crap or... Yeah, we have misses and I don't know. I guess my main thing is I try not to take it too seriously just because I started the group for fun. I started the group because of people taking Facebook too seriously and treating it like it's real life or that it actually matters to some degree. I mean, I guess to some it could matter if you your group is where you make your living somehow selling your products cool that's different moderate as you see fit but if you're just a group for knives why in, why in the hell are you just stuck up your own ass to the point that you think everybody should agree with you and if they don't Vominos, hit the trail, go, leave, or we'll kick you. And I don't know. I guess it falls back to to some uh, admin could ruin certain brands for people, or Olight's oh, another one where their groups can be hot garbage. I mean, I'm not a huge Olight oh, fan, but I carry this this i3T every day. If I was new, I guess coming in, seeing how people are treated in that group, or I don't know. Another thing, people are too soft and they take one little insult seriously. Like, damn, it's face again. It's Facebook. It doesn't matter. Why do you care if somebody called you? Whatever, it's Facebook. You're never going to see this person, more than likely. And this person is saying this just to get under your skin. And you're letting them win just by getting mad. That's what they want. So why are you going to give them what they want? Post some kind of stupid meme of like a frog humping a donkey on top of a pyramid back at him. I don't care. You do you. But I don't I don't know. I'm just kind of ranting at this point, and yeah, it's a longer video for me. I don't know. It's I'm just sitting here bored. I was scrolling through Facebook. I mean, I can't do nothing else hardly. I can do things here and there outside, but I don't have the stuff I need, so I'm just kind of bored half the time. I'd rather be at work than sitting at home bored with COVID, but it's kind of on my mind. Uh, I might expand upon this again in the future, but who knows, but we'll see y'all.